Terry's asking, does the historical price matter like last week or even yesterday? It can. It can. The only, but I don't want you to focus too much on it. You can get too tied up into prior price activity from days ago. But here's the thing. Where can it have an effect on very powerful turning points? So see, this is a powerful turning point, guys. See this? From this point, your stock collapsed. Wow. Okay? This becomes memory in the future. Okay? So that even tomorrow, if your stock comes up to that, it will likely react. I mean, or Monday is Friday now, but Monday. Why? Because I want you to imagine this. As stupid to you as it may seem now, because you have me, there are people who bought right there. They didn't want it here. They didn't want it there. 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 They didn't want it. They wanted here. Okay. Now, I want you to imagine He's smiling right now. All right? <laughs> He's happy. But only for a little bit. Okay? The stock collapses on this person. But this person doesn't want to let go. He's hopeful. If the stock comes anywhere near to getting his money back, he becomes a seller nine times out of every 10. So what happens is that all the people who bought here are future sellers if the stock ever gets their money back. In addition to you and me looking for short opportunities up there because of what happened before. So the group of sellers that were here is times 10 here. Does that make sense? That will bring in more sellers at that point. So it's at those very powerful turning points that have memory that can last for days. Okay? But it has to be powerful enough to have the memory last. Remember the time thing. The further you get away from that memory point, the less effective it is. All right? Tyrone is saying, wow, the example makes it very clear from a psychological point of view. Yes, because, guys, listen to me. You're really, we're really not playing stocks. Stocks don't have a life of their own. St the life of a stock is coming from the activity of human beings. The activity of human beings are moving the stock. So it's not the stock you're playing, it's the human activity you're playing. And when you start to understand market movements from the psychological point of view, and then you add technical analysis to the, psycholo the psychology, you're in the game now. It's not enough to know a few technical things. you got to know why. That's the psychological part. Why are double tops so powerful? Because of what I've explained to you just now from a psychological point of view. 
They're powerful because people who bought that top before are getting their money back. And so they become sellers. The people who saw it drop before become shorters. And the people who rode the move up become sellers because they want to take their profits now that there's trouble starting to show itself. So then the, the second time up, the number of sellers is like times 10. If it was powerful here, it's more powerful there. So the same thing works in reverse. Okay? The same thing works in reverse. As you can see here, powerful turn. And there, see the flutter? Now, I'm not saying that you're going to get that. I'm just saying that there's going to be some type of reaction there. And if you think about this as an area, you're still not breaking through it very much yet. So that's where you're going to, you can incorporate price data from the day before or from a period, if a strong move happened from there. Do you see that? Yes? Make sense? Good job, good job. Now, let me, let me add a little bit more flesh to this, though. And then we can move on. I want to add a little bit more flesh to this. Let's say, for instance, you have a move up like this. And then, boom, a collapse. There's that memory point there, right? I told you, right? So you've got that. You've got that. Boom. got that guy again, right? Okay. Now, if you come right back up, that's where the odds are really high of a reaction back to the downside. The memory is still very fresh, but if you get this scenario, That one is different. You see the time? You see the gradual nature of it reaching there? Boom. That's different. Tell me you understand this. That's arriving at that memory point differently. So... This one has higher odds of getting through. That's all I'm saying. It might react a little bit, but it has higher odds of not reacting like this one. The gradual nature of it. These people that were waiting for a quick recovery, they start bailing out early. Uh, it's not, I, I, let me just get out now. Time is making them tired. And so when it reaches here, the number of people that were waiting has been cut in half, maybe two thirds. The effect is not the same because of the time. Guys, this is going inside of the market. This is not in any books. This is not in any courses. You understand that? And this can't come from someone that has just read their way to trying to understand markets. This is being in it every day for decades, man, when you understand it from this level. And the beautiful thing is that if someone like me can hand that to you right off the bat, do you understand? 
Like you don't need 30 years to get this because I'm handing it to you. Now you have to take that and work with it to make it come alive because it's, it's in your hands, but you've got to water it and play with it and whatever, but you don't have to learn it. So you get a VIP pass into the front of the line, in front of the line of people who don't have, they have to learn it year by year by year.